What is up, everybody? Guess who's back? Me. The answer's me. I'm back. So, I have a knack for starting these things in the dark, it seems. Um, you know, when, uh, probably half of these things start out in the dark so far. So, if you guys remember last video, we drugged this stupid thing out of the water. The old con marshal drug it about halfway up this hill and said, screw it, I'm done. I am not moving another inch. You can just sleep here. So, with no further ado, today we're going to go get something a little bigger. Uh, if you guys remember way back in, I think, like the second video when we were setting up our trucks, we built this guy. And this guy is going to go try to uh, do a little job for us. So, let's go get that... Let's go get that Chevrolet, shall we? Alright, let's take this bad boy for our first test drive here. I don't like the back of it very much. I don't like the way it looks. Oh boy, I didn't steer that very well, did I? Man, I'm off to a great start. Just missing that by a mile. Alright, let's stop and look at the map real quick, guys. We're gonna... Okay, we're going to take that road straight across. I remember now. Yeah, we're going to take that road right there. Straight across. Hang a right. Hang another right. Past the fuel station. Yeah. Well, all right. We got, a, we got an adventure on our hands, I do believe. So let's say that when we get past the fuel station is probably about the time I'll need to hit the map again. Alright, two wheel drive truck. Well, currently, oh man, I did not like that. You see that, guys? The back of this thing already hit the ground. Like, let's just go ahead and throw it in all wheel drive because I've got a bad feeling about this. The back of this thing already hit the ground just then and tried to dig in. If that was anything steeper, we would already be in trouble right now. So, my fears for this particular bed may be realized. Uh, we'll just have to keep traveling and find out, but yeah, my fears for this bed may be realized sooner than we thought. Oh, let's put her in low and lock the diff, so this thing is already... Uh, guys, we're going to have a problem here. This thing's already stuck. Okay, I lied. But it is having trouble. I will say that much. It's not stuck, but it sure is already having trouble. Okay, let's just start winching, winching, uh, winching right now. Let's hook the winch, get in the next little, little piddly water hole to get stuck in. Not impressed yet, guys, but we got to give the truck a fair shot here, because, I mean, it's still on street tires, you know? Winch, winch, winch. Winch, winch, winch. Oh, I didn't... I thought I activated the diff lock. Do it again. There we go. That might help. I thought I'd hit the button. I guess I didn't. I guess I uh, missed it or something. Alright, that seems a little better now. You know... I say that as I'm getting stuck again. Oh boy. Come on, baby. If you can't drag yourself to a water hole, how are you going to drag the Chevrolet all the way back to the garage? Ooh, come on. Speed up. <laughs> Put it in a higher range so I can speed up. All I do is just spin the tires. I'm not speeding up. Same speed, still a crawl. There we go. I'm going to put it back in low range and lock the diffs. At least we're not going to get stuck that way, right? But yeah, we got to give this truck credit. I mean, I'm not impressed with it on my first initial impression right here. But you got to remember this thing's still on street tires. We haven't unlocked all-terrain tires or off-road tires or anything for the medium-duty trucks yet. So... I've got to wait until I've unlocked better tires and stuff before I can truly judge this truck. 
Because I'll tell you what this truck kind of reminds me of. This truck kind of reminds me of the old B-130. Uh, 131 on Mudrunner, the B-131. It was the six-wheel drive. It sounded kind of like a heavy gas engine. Uh, it was a very light duty. It was one of the lighter duty trucks on Mudrunner. You know, short of like the little crappy B-130, the little two-wheel drive guy, or the little B-66, the single axle uh, cab over engine truck, CLE truck. The B-131 was one of the lighter duty trucks on Mudrunner, but it was also one of my favorite trucks. And this thing, uh, crap, I think I take a right right here, don't I? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, we made it through there kind of quick. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, even though the B-131 was one of the lighter duty trucks, and it wasn't very powerful, guys. It definitely wasn't very powerful. But in spite of all of those things, the B-131 was one of my favorite trucks on Mudrunner. And just the way this truck sounds and its general size and, and you know, just its, its power level, etc., etc., this thing really reminds me a little bit of the B-131. So I'm thinking, could be wrong, and I'll find out later when I get some upgrades unlocked. I'm thinking that this truck may become one of my favorites just because of how much I love the B-131. Uh, I'm thinking once I get a lift kit, larger tires, and obviously more aggressive tires on this thing, the power level doesn't really bother me because if I can find the gearbox, the, you know, the low, low gearbox, if I can find the, the, the off-road gearbox for this thing, the power level won't matter because I have a feeling, haven't played it yet, haven't found one. I guess I found one for the Scout vehicles. We'll need to install that and check it out. But I've got a strong feeling that with the with the SnowRunner, you know, off-road gearbox, I think they just call it the SnowRunner gearbox. But with the off-road gearbox, I've got a feeling that it's going to be a, you know, gear reduction to such a extent that your power will be put down to the ground very, very well in like you know your low low. Wow, we've already used 39 liters of fuel. That's uh, impressively bad. All right, good thing we stopped here, huh? Oh, you know what? Let's check the bed. How's our bed look? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh yeah, the bed's got 1,400 liters in it. Nice, 1,400 liters of fuel in there. Not bad. All right, let's go. They're burning fuel idling. That's the thing I've got to get used to, guys. You burn fuel idling, and that is a thing that I have got to get used to. Like, you know, that didn't happen on Mud Runner. You could leave the truck running all night and it didn't burn anything. Or at least it didn't say it was. But I also saw a couple of videos where a guy would have his truck running on casual mode and night would fall. And he would uh, go into the menu and click skip uh, skip night or whatever it was. I think it was skip night. Uh, I never played on casual mode. I don't know exactly what they called it. Skip night, I think, though. And then when it skipped night, he was just suddenly, like, out of gas. Like, the game accounted for the fact that he just sat there idling all night and it took, like, 40 liters of fuel away from him. So, maybe I never really... I never really paid attention, to be honest, guys, on Mudrunner. I may have to load Mudrunner back up, start a truck, and just stare at the gas and see if it uses any. Because <laughs> I know it doesn't say I'm using one liter per minute when it's sitting there idling. But I guess if it's using like a half a liter a minute to idle, it's not going to show. But Mudrunner didn't put it on a decimal point. It was it was a whole number, you know, one liter. Is this my turn? Yeah, there's... Oh, boy, I don't know if I want to deal with this sloppy, sloppy road right here, but this is the way we really kind of need to go, so. But yeah, I might have to load Mudrunner up and hop in one of the uh, more inefficient trucks, like the C255, pull out of the garage, and just leave it idling, and go make a sandwich or something, and then come back and see if I have any less fuel. Because that's one thing I never did, like, yeah, I'd leave the trucks idling for five or six minutes while I was looking at the map or 
swapping into a different truck to do something or something like that. But whenever I would come back and start driving again, I wouldn't look at my quantity of fuel and see if it had changed. So, hey, who knows? Maybe, maybe Mudrunner did it too and we just don't know it. Or maybe y'all do know it and I, do, I just don't know it. Like, maybe I'm amazed at this game for uh, using fuel while you're idling and I'm the only, only person that didn't know that Mudrunner did. Boy, that'd be awkward. Uh, don't tell me. Don't, don't tell me that. Okay, tell me. I can take it. Come on. Lock in low. Come on. I don't want to get stuck. There's no trees close by. I need longer winches, guys. I have got to get to the level. Whatever level it is, like 10 or something. I have got to get to the level where you can unlock longer winches. Because it's really nerve-wracking getting stuck when you ain't got a, a, a tree close enough to winch to. And, you know, we discussed this on a previous video, and I'm going to say it again. I think the distance that you can winch on this game is, like, really sad. Uh, Mudrunner, same way. The, the distance that you're allowed to hook your winch up is pathetic. To say it, to put it, to put it in plain, blunt English, it's pathetic. The game's great, don't get me wrong. The game's fantastic. But the winching distance is not. What is that? Did I just find a trailer? I sure did. I didn't see that on my map. Did you guys see that on the map? I didn't see that on the map. <laughs> yeah, that's not on the map. Look. That must not be mine. Yeah. Sure looks like the usable trailer, don't it? Sure wasn't on the map anywhere, guys. Look at this crap. Ah, it is a usable trailer. Oh yeah, it's on the map now. Look, maybe it was on the map. And I just didn't see it. The trailers are usually labeled, aren't they? Yeah, there it is, right there. A fuel carrier trailer. Whoop. No, that's that one that we found already. Weird, guys. Really weird. Like, this. It's full. Look, it's full. Really weird. Um, I'm not sure what to make of that, guys, because it's there. But driving up on it, it also didn't do the thing where it says you discovered a trailer, you know? So. I sure would like to go over there and figure out what that is over in the water over there. Let's look at the map. Oh, uh, well. I definitely don't need to make a left. That goes to a bridge that's out. That's, I, I would need to make a left if I was trying to discover what's over there in the water. <laughs> All right, don't go over this hill. Don't need to just stay in the bottom and mud out. When this ain't bottom, just mud out, you're in trouble. <laughs> If nothing else, even if this thing can't drag the Chevy back up the hill. Oh man, that's a dip. Oh, I don't like that. Let's go to the left and hope we don't get stuck. Oh, that wasn't bad. Oh, see that? See that? It's dragging its butt. I hate that. But if nothing else, if I can just get to the C70, uh, We'll use this truck. That's one reason I chose this one over the uh, Navistar that we also haven't drove yet, by the way. I chose this over the Navistar because this has the repair and fuel attachment. So if nothing else, if all this truck does is successfully gets to the other truck, we can at least finish repairing it. Uh, here's where the uh, here's where the uh, Marshall came out of the river, out of the water right here. We tried to drive over that car. Anyway, if nothing else, if I can just get to the other car, I can use the repair and fuel attachment here to finish repairing the Chevy and then just try to drive the Chevy the rest of the way out of there. Like with a repaired gearbox and a repaired suspension and obviously a tank of fuel, we might be able to... Uh, there we go. Uh, we might be able to drive the Chevy out of there then. 
least that's what we're going to hope for. Because I'm not sure this is going to drag anything the way it's set up right now. Like I'm having to run around in low range just to not get stuck, and this stuff ain't even that bad. And this is a heavy attachment. Usually, with heavy attachments, oh, don't tip over. All right, we're going to winch. We're going to... We're gonna play this safe. Uh, yeah, that looks like a big enough tree. Oh man, we've got a heck of a little pickle going on here. Alright, I'm looking at this. This actually hurt me. Boy, I didn't realize this leaned that bad, guys. Yeah, I didn't realize that little section of the trail leaned that bad that I slid off the side like that. But that was a uh, that was actually kind of a nasty little spot right there. I wouldn't have expected it, that's for sure. Not I, I didn't have a visual indication that led me to believe that was gonna happen. Get out of the trees, camera. Alright, truck, you got the turn, buddy. But yeah, anyway, I was saying, usually uh, with the heavier attachments, you get more traction, and you, you're less likely to get stuck. And this is a pretty heavy attachment right here, and this thing is still just struggling. I mean, absolutely struggling to not get stuck. Steering sucks. Um, the attachment has so much weight past the rear axles that my steering just straight up sucks. My front axle does not have nearly enough weight on it. Uh, man, I really don't know if I like this attachment, guys. Like, I was, I was afraid. I mean, y'all probably remember, because I babbled about it when we did it, when we put it on. I was afraid that this attachment was gonna be a problem when I put it on because of how it overhangs the rear of the truck so far and, and drops down so low to give you know, in a real life attachment, you know what's in there. That 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 door you need to access that door because that's where your tools and stuff are. You keep repair parts and things in there. So I mean I get it. Totally get it. But yeah. I figured this attachment was gonna be trouble because of how low. See how low that hangs? Like it's I mean the rear bumper is almost dead even with the axle, like with the hub and the wheel. So, oh, I don't need to turn right, that's for sure. That's a rock slide. Can you go straight across here or what? Where am I? Oh, yeah, I need to take left. Okay, we're good. So, yeah, this attachment hangs down so low that it's like, I don't know, maybe with a lift. Maybe, oh! Turn better, stay on the pavement, dummy. You have pavement to use, stay on it. Yeah, guys, maybe maybe when we get this truck a lift kit, better tires. Um, I think we went down that way. And it wasn't the best way. Isn't that the way we went the last time? I think the best way is like the next road or something. Pretty sure that road back here is how where we went in the uh, Marshall. But yeah, maybe we'll lift some better tires, and stuff like that. Maybe uh, this attachment won't won't be such a problem anymore. Oh, yeah. this is it. I thought it was. It is. What time is it? Is it turning? It's it's got to be turning day. Like it was dark when we started, so it's probably just. It's, oh yeah, there they are. Found them. Oh, there it is. Yep, it's overcast because it's starting to rain. Okay, come on. Let's back up the hill here. Let's turn around. Well, I'm glad I didn't go down that other road, too, because, uh, yeah, they weren't on that road. We're going to back back up the hill, turn around, and then we're going to back down the hill because if we're going to hook to this thing, I want to hook to it from the rear.
thought it was stupid, but it wasn't too bad. Alright, truck. Let's go, uh... Let's go see if you're worth all the hype, Mr. Fleet Star. The thing the Fleet Star's got going for it is it is heavier than the scout vehicles. So even though it has less traction, I do have a chance of being successful just because it weighs more. But this hill, I mean, this hill is a bugger. Either you're in a scout vehicle that doesn't have enough weight to drag the C-70 up the hill, or you're in this truck, which may not have the right tires to drag the C-70 up the hill. Come on, back a little bit more. Come on, a little bit more. Gotta get closer. We're gonna finish. At any rate, we're gonna finish fixing the dang C-70 first. We're gonna finish the repairs right now. Alright. So we're gonna go repair, source, maintenance add-on, target, C70. Alright, let's just hit repair all. Boop. Okay, C70 is fully repaired, guys. No damage. See? Down at the bottom. No damage. Can't highlight it, but it says it. No damage. Now, we're going to go to refuel. How much fuel do we have? 1,400 liters, if I remember right. Target is the Chevy. Maintenance add-on, and let's we'll fill this bad boy all the way up. Alright. Well, that. Lock the differential. Start this thing. Yeah, let's, uh, Sure wish it wasn't raining right now. Alright guys. Wish me luck because here we go. Oh my god. Are you serious right now? Are you are you serious right now? Like I was nervous about that. I was like super nervous and it ain't even spinning a tire. It's just like come with me. Come on buddy. Taking you home. Having more trouble keeping me on the road than I'm having dragging the Chevy up the hill. That is, that's hilarious. Like I hiked that up for nothing. That was very anticlimactic, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness! It always amazes me something that you expect on this. This game is good at this. This game is fantastic. I love it because it's always like this. Either it's something you expect to be super hard and it just is like bloop, done or it's something you expect to be super simple and it takes you like four hours <laughs> oh my goodness like we would still be fighting with that stupid scout vehicle we'd still be fighting to get that thing started coming up the hill and we're already up here to the paved road right now like we're on our way to the gas station <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's because I fixed it the rest of the way, you know? Because I finished fixing the Chevy, maybe maybe if uh, maybe if I tried it with the Marshall after fixing the Chevy, maybe that would have been easy to get too, guys. I don't know. I should have tried it to see, because that was, like, absurdly easy, but I did fix the truck first. I finished fixing the gearbox and the suspension first. I don't know, like, I don't know what the game considers quote-unquote broken suspension like you know is your axle busted in half dragging the ground if so yeah you ain't moving that crap you ain't moving that nowhere or is it just like your shocks are completely worn out or they fell off or you know what what does the game uh we gotta go oh all the way to the road rock. all the way to the all the way to the rock slide you know what does the game consider broken Maybe the broken suspension was the key there. Like, maybe I was trying to drag it with an axle dragging the ground or something like that. And, uh, anyway. At any rate, we're going to have to uh, give the old Fleet Star street grid now. It's doing a good job of what we hired it for. We sent it out to do a job. It's definitely accomplishing that job. The Chevy's like about the rear end being driving so fast now. Well, we are about to get up into this sloppy stuff up here that I had to winch myself through, so. We'll see.
see what happens when we get up here. Oh God, we're about to be on that crap that I slid off of too, and this time I'm dragging in front with me. So, day ain't over yet, boys. The day ain't over yet. And ladies, ladies, boys, people. Hey, let's see your insurance. Quit hitting me. Actually, maybe come over here and give me a push. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I gotta watch this trail carefully, guys. Because I really don't want to get it this close to a success. And then slide off a dang trail. Now, this is a really hard turn. better than what I did on the way up, that's for sure. Three point turn on the way up. Alright, here is where the trail leads. Right, I can see it now. Coming from this direction, I can see why I slid off. But it really does lean a lot right here. So I can definitely see it right here why I slid off. The butt is trying to slide off right now. No, nope. come on. Come on, baby. Stay on the trail. Yeah, there it goes. It's trying. There we go. Yeah, uh, you know, I can totally see why we slid off of that. Coming from that direction, you can see that had a solid, a solid break foot that trail did. So. I don't want to get the Chevy to the garage, guys, and uh, we can customize it. You know, we'll end this video off with a customization on the Chevy and, and uh, maybe throw a frame hat on or something on it. See what we want to use it for. Oh, there we go. Good truck. Good truck. Alright, uh, we're passing the, uh, we're passing the unclimbable car. So we're getting pretty close to it's pretty close to the gas station again, the fuel station. Oh yeah, there's that sloppy spot. Come on baby, there's not much to winch to, so try not to get too stuck. Come on sweetheart. Come on sweetheart, we have got to get you better tires. Man, what, we going to have to look, what level, do you guys know, what, what driver level do you got to be at to get these things better tires for the medium duty trucks? Uh, is it level six? I want to say it's level six. If it's level six, we have got, we have absolutely got to get to level six to get this thing some better rubber. Because that, this thing is making me nervous. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, there's that. What the crap? Who moved that? Am I missing something here? I, I am, right? I'm missing something here, right? Because that trailer's moved. Oh, no. 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 I am missing something here. Oh, no, I'm not. I just gotta go make a turn. Okay. I thought I was going the wrong dang way. I just haven't got to the turn yet. Hey, ignore me, okay? Ignore me. Um, I'm a little retarded this morning. Ignore me, okay? <laughs> I, for some reason, at a glance on the map, I thought I was going the other direction and thought that I had missed a turn somehow when realistically the turn was literally in my screen, visible directly in front of me, which, yeah. It's all good. Now I'm less confused. You still winch? Okay, you still winch. You're acting like it wasn't anymore. You got a, a wet it right there. Okay, there's that uh, fuel trailer that I'm very curious about. But they didn't give me any uh, points for discovering it. And it doesn't put it on my map, so I don't know if it's some kind of rescue mission thing or 
I feel like that trailer is going to be part of a mission. I don't think that trailer is uh, mine, so to speak. I feel like that trailer is going to be part of a mission. C70's handling this trail better than my uh, fleet star is. It keeps catching up to me. Of course, I am running around in low range. And the C70's probably not in low range. So, the guy back there don't listen. Is there anybody in it? Let's see if there's anybody in it. Nope, it's empty. Uh, that's one thing they didn't do right again, guys. Uh, just like Mud Runner, the truck that you're winching to is driving. It's not just being drugged. It's not just dead weight back here. It is driving, but it's doing so with nobody in it. No, uh, that's one thing they did not get right again. They should have put a driver in the second truck. Like, I get that the premise behind the game is you personally you are doing everything like the entire everything <clears throat> but it's a little weird for a truck back here to be driving with nobody in it this ain't this ain't maximum overdrive guys come on now anybody ever uh, anybody ain't ever seen maximum overdrive needs to it's a little uh, little cheesy you know Obviously, the CGI and stuff isn't because it was from the 80s, so there is no such thing as CGI. <clears throat> but uh, well, I guess there was. It was very, very uh, primitive, I guess. Anyway, yeah, anybody that's seen the truck, you know, just ignore uh, the truck, the movie. Anybody that's seen the movie, just ignore me because you already know. Anybody that ain't never seen it, it's a movie about trucks, but like. I don't know, some weird crap happens. It's something to do with like an asteroid or some weird crap. Anyway, all the trucks go nuts. They, they like, become alive and uh, start killing humans and stuff. And <clears throat> it's got, I believe, Emilio Estevez, if I remember properly, I believe it's Emilio. Uh, there's not a lot of mainstream actors in it. I can't really name any off the top of my head. I'd have to... Uh, I'd have to look it up. Let's take the sign out. Nobody needs to know whatever it said. Boy, this thing's turning wide. <laughs> I might, might be taking out a power pole, too. There we go. Uh, I can't think of uh, any mainstream actors in it without looking it up. I know, I know for sure. I'm pretty sure the main character was Emilio Estevez, Estevez. And he was like, God, like 20 at the time. Like, he's super young. But uh, it's good. Like the trucks, they all grow minds of their own. I don't know if it's ever really explained where most of the drivers are. Like, I don't recall a part where it shows like a whole bunch of dead drivers sitting in the cabs or anything. I don't know. It's like, I know that the, the bulk of the movie is around a little uh, uh, truck stop diner where Estevez is an employee there <clears throat> and uh, you know there's some truck drivers trapped inside the diner and stuff but there's a lot more trucks running around being stupid than there are drivers hanging out going what the crap so I'm really not sure that that part's ever really explained it uh, but yeah it's a good movie I don't explain it well would you quit pushing me jerk I guess I could go faster for you let's go you can keep up. Okay, but anyway, yeah, the trucks go nuts. They start killing the humans. Um, you know, the humans are trapped in the drive-in diner. I'm trying to think. It's been years since I've seen you guys. Uh, the humans are trapped in the diner. They're trying to figure out, what, A, what the heck's going on, and B, how to do something about it. Um... I'm trying to think here. Yeah, we're going to go back to the lower range because we're going to go back down the mud. Whee! <clears throat> trying to figure out how to do anything about it. They're trying to escape more than anything. 
But there's a, you see it in memes and stuff still to this day. I mean, this movie's like 30 years old or more. And to this day, you still see the truck in memes. It's a <clears throat> nasty looking black truck with like a green troll thing on the front of it, like a huge green like troll head on the front of it. It's a toy store delivery truck. <coughs> it's a, uh, <coughs> sorry guys, <coughs> clear my throat. The uh, troll thing on the front of the truck is like the logo, I guess if you will, for the toy store that the truck delivers for, or the toy company or whatever. But the thing is just straight up evil. Now, how did I kick out of all-wheel drive and lock the dip? Did I hit the wrong button? I must have hit the wrong button. There we go. Now, I'm going to take it off all-wheel drive. I'm going to leave the locking diff and see what it does. Just leave it two-wheel drive with the diff lock. But uh, that's kind of like the gang leader of the bad trucks. Like the truck with the troll head thing on the front. Uh, you'll... You look up maximum overdrive images, and that's probably the first image that's going to pop up is going to be that truck. Like, there's still memes about that truck to this day. Well, I think I took the wrong road. Yeah, I did, because the gas station... Well, I took the wrong road, but I see our garage right there, so... The wrong road might be the right road, guys. I, I uh... Man, I might have to take this road from now on. But yeah, eventually the humans win. I'm gonna, you know, plot twist there. Like, we really didn't expect that. Eventually the humans win. But it's a good movie. It, it, if it, it's good if you're into, like, late 80s, early 90s movies. Because, you know, you do got to understand. <laughs> it, it screams late 80s, early 90s. When you're watching it, you know it was from the late 80s. Or the early, I think early 90s. I'd have to, again... I didn't plan on talking about it, so I didn't look it up to get the specific information. So you'd have to look it up. I'd have to look it up. No! Whoa! What did I... Oh, crap! That was almost rough. I am really glad that this thing kept its footing. <laughs> wow, I'm really glad that it kept its footing this thing. But that was about... That was just about ugly. I about put this thing on its side. <clears throat> Talk about trucks with a mind of their own. This truck decided it didn't want me to live. Uh, to live. To talk, I, maybe this truck was defending its brothers from the movie. Because, I mean, this truck would have been around when that movie was made. This old little truck. Let's put it in four-wheel drive. This looks a little rough right here. All-wheel drive, I should. Would you quit pushing me sideways, jerk? Look at this crap. Hey, you're a jerk. Come on, jack wagon. Quit it. <clears throat> now, what's the matter? You stuck? Now you want me to help you? After that, you want me to help you? Stupid truck with a mind of its own back here. That also would have existed in the time that movie was made. Well, guys. <laughs> what do you know? The old fleet star did the job. We are rolling into the final stretch of pavement. We are back. We are absolutely back. So we are going to kill the winch. Kill the all-wheel drive, because that's not necessary at this point. Off. Let's go get in that C70 now. <clears throat> Let's go check out what we can do to this bad boy. What do you think, guys? Move the garage. There we go. Look at that. <clears throat> Customize. First things first, we're going to paint it. Forget everything else. We're going to paint the truck. Do we want to paint our truck? Kind of looked all right, that teal color. I wish I could care. Let me turn it. I want to see a better view. <coughs> I ought to paint it purple like my other Chevy. Purple's my jam, guys. I'm sorry. I love purple. You just have to deal with that. What do you guys think? Any color that's just screaming it out to you guys? 
because <clears throat> really I'm kind of screaming purple. But I'm partial to purple. Forget it. I'm going to paint it purple for now. If you guys don't like it, comment. Tell me what color you want the dang thing. If you want me to change the color, guess what will happen? I'll change the damn color. Alright, sun visor I don't want. Rooftop, twin horns I don't... Oh, raised beacon. I definitely don't want that stupid thing. Twin horns are already attached. Fog lights and beacons. No, I do want that. <clears throat> Rank 11 to unlock that, of course. Alright. Hmm. Engine. Oh, we have the upgraded engine available. Look. Alright, we're not going to do it yet. Gearbox. We need that. Suspension. Raise. Looks like. Oh, it's got 39 inch from the factory. Rank 6. <clears throat> That's what I'm looking for. Rank 6. That's when we get all terrain tires. All terrain tires for the medium duty trucks. Rank 6. That is what we're looking for. And the extended winches are rank 8. So I can't wait. Uh, oh, this has engageable diff lock. <clears throat> so that's good. Yeah. So that, that's good. We can, it, That'll make up for the fact that it's only two-wheel drive. It does have engageable diff lock. So I'm definitely happy with that. And it can be converted to all-wheel drive. And we got to find it in freaking Alaska. Are you serious? Well, I hope we can make this thing good in only two-wheel drive, because it's going to be a while before we go to Alaska, guys. Um, by the time we find the all-wheel drive upgrade, we're probably not going to need it anymore. Oops, go back again. Let's go to the add-ons real quick. Looks like... Oh, wow. A lot of frame sticks out behind the, uh, behind the uh, utility add-on. Kind of what I wanted this truck for, though, was like a repair utility truck. So, a lot of frame sticks out behind that, though. Yeah, boy, that's heavy. Look at that. Watch how much. Bro, that's so heavy. Crane and saddles. So, guys, it looks like all the same, all the same add-ons that we can get on any other medium-duty truck. So, <clears throat> we're going to just... Uh, probably leave this truck be for now because I don't really have a specific purpose for this truck maybe we'll just throw a sideboard bed on it and park it next to its GMC brother over there that's got the uh, same thing ah uh, you know what flatbed we don't have a flatbed yet let's we'll throw a flatbed on it wonder oh flatbed if you put a if you put a crane, you can't put a flatbed on this one. This ain't like the uh, this ain't like the GMC 9500 where you can put a crane and a flatbed together. So we're gonna throw a flatbed on it. We're gonna go park it next to the GMC. Right there. We're gonna park it over here with his GMC brother. I think the flatbed does this thing justice. What do you guys think? Kind of fitting, right? Oh, good God. Kill the engine. We're going to park it right over here next to the GMC. The Chevrolet pickup is uh, not in that wall that you can see there. Well, forget it. Chevy pickup's over there by the building. You can almost see it, but then it does that. There. Chevy pickups over there by the garage. Our scout vehicles are scattered everywhere. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, guys, we've uncovered, I should say we've discovered, all of the uh, upgrades and stuff that were visible on the map. Uh, I've heard rumors that there are upgrades that are not visible on the map, that you just have to drive up to them to find them. I'm going to assume these little gray areas that are still grayed out even after discovering all the watchtowers. You see how there's a lot of areas that still are grayed out, like here. This whole east side of the map is still gray. This center section is still gray. 
I'm assuming the hidden upgrades, so to speak, are in those areas. <clears throat> Be my guess. Otherwise, I would think they would show up on the map. But, <clears throat> next video, we're going to do some jobs. We've, we've hit all the watchtowers. Um, every truck that we know about on this map, we've brought home. Well, you know. Two of them are still sitting here waiting to come home. For the most part, every truck we know about on this map, we've brought home. Every upgrade that we know about on this map, we've brought home. So what do you guys think? In the next uh, next video, I think we're going to start doing some jobs. We're going we're gonna to start earning some money. So I'm going to cut this off right here, guys. Until next time, peace out.